First, this isn't just a face on a flyer. This is a real person, and we love her, and we want her home. We want her home. A desperate plea from a Missouri family to help find their missing cousin. Echo Lloyd was last seen two months ago today in Climax Springs. Andrew Avranik spoke to her cousin in Bates County and joined us live with more on this call for help. Andrew? Lisa, Echo Lloyd was last seen on Mother's Day. That was May 10th. She was last seen at a Dollar General in Climax Springs. Her daughter, her brother, and her cousins haven't heard from or seen her since. They think someone out there knows what happened to her. It's been a hard two months for Mary Dubray and her family. It's been devastating. Dubray's cousin, Echo Lloyd, has been missing since Mother's Day. She was last seen at the Dollar General in Climax Springs. That is the last time we believe she was seen or heard from. Lloyd hasn't used her cell phone, credit cards, or filled prescriptions since her disappearance. She's on several medications uh, that she does not have with her, and nor does she have her uh, billfold or her car. Um, she is absolutely missing without a trace. The Benton County Sheriff's Office is investigating. They are getting help from the Missouri State Highway Patrol and the FBI. We don't feel that she, you know, decided to leave her life or is gone of her own free will. Uh, we feel, as the family, um, we feel like there is definitely foul play involved. Dubray, her sister, and Lloyd's daughter, Kelsey Smith, have set up a Facebook page to try and spread the word about Lloyd in hopes someone knows something. We want to get her face in front of as many people as we can so that someone um, can recognize her and say, oh, I know what happened. I'm going to help these people find their loved one. Dubray said her family isn't giving up hope, even though there are moments when doubt starts to set in. When you lose someone that you love and you know how and why, it's devastating. But when you lose someone that you love and you don't know why and you don't know where they are and you don't know what happened, it's a wound that won't heal. And it's really, really hard to move past that. If you have any information that can help investigators in this case, you're asked to call the Benton County Sheriff's Office or the State Highway Patrol. We've posted both of their phone numbers on our website this evening. We've also included a detailed description of Echo Lloyd, as well as a link to their Bring Echo Home Facebook page in this article on our website and news app. Reporting live tonight in Butler, Andrew Havranek, KY3 News. Search for a missing Benton County woman continues. Echo Lloyd went missing in May 2020 and has not been heard from since. Caitlin Schumacher tells us more about the search effort. As if it was me or any of my family members or my moms or my friends, you know, I would feel like the community would come together and help me. Mandy Krieger organized the effort through Hearts on the Hunt for Echo Lloyd Facebook page. I mean, most of this land's untouched unless it's hunting season. In an effort to find Echo, dozens of people searched 174 acres, hoping to bring her home. Been doing search and rescue up in Washington State for the past six years. So we kind of thought that uh, it'd be nice to kind of get back into doing some search and rescue and well as uh, kind of come out and help. The missing mother of four was last seen on Mother's Day 2020. Volunteers combed through the area of Edwards along State Route M in Benton County all day Saturday. Organizers say they are working with law enforcement if they find anything that could bring her home. We didn't find her, which was what we were hoping to, but we're just going to keep searching. For KY3 News, I'm Caitlin Schumacher. A new plea for help tonight from the family of a missing woman. This woman here uh, vanished without a trace from Benton County about a year ago now. Marina Silva joins us from Warsaw with the family's new plea for help. 
Paul, it's been 422 days since anyone has heard from Echo Lloyd. Her mother, her daughter tried to contact her on Mother's Day of last year and never got an answer. Vigils are pretty much regularly held here in Warsaw, and the family is still asking for the public's help in bringing Echo home. She was an absolutely gorgeous person inside and out. She was fun and bubbly and charismatic and I'm not sure if she ever met anyone who didn't like her. Mary Dubray is Echo Lloyd's cousin. She's been one of the people leading the efforts to find any answers as to what happened to Echo. I can't imagine that we're going to find her alive. I, I pray for that. I don't, I don't think that's reality at this point in time. Um, but she deserves to have her life celebrated. Echo went missing from her home in Benton County in May of 2020. Her daughter was in constant communication with her. And I know there were other people that she talked to on a regular basis. And um, her daughter had tried to go see her on Mother's Day, taken her a gift, left it on the porch because she wasn't home. The daughter contacted police later after going over to the house and finding her mom's personal items had been left behind. Her purse was there. Her wallet was there. Her cigarettes were there. And the only thing missing was um, her car keys. Benton County Sheriff Eric Knox says investigators are always following up on new leads and still looking for answers. I want the public, somebody out there knows what happened to Echo. And I don't believe it's just one person. You know, I don't think that there's just one person that would have this knowledge. According to Sheriff Knox, investigators have put in thousands of hours trying to find her. All of our local people, you know, still think about Echo and the signs are still up and, and all of our local folks, you know, have their eyes peeled. Her family thinks someone who knows her has something to do with her disappearance. The sheriff says someone has to know something. And I don't believe it's just one person. You know, I don't think that there's just one person that would have this knowledge. The family holds on to hope, searching for answers, waiting to hear from Echo. Call us. Write us. Let us know that you are okay. Sheriff Knox assured me that everyone is doing everything they can in finding Echo. Her family is asking anyone with clues or answers to contact the Benton County Sheriff's Department or Missouri State Highway Patrol. Reporting live in Warsaw, I'm Marina Silva. Thank you, Marina.